The climate science problem I focus on are soils and microbes that live in soils. So soils are a huge reservoir of carbon. They store more carbon than both the atmosphere and all of the vegetation combined. Vegetative material that comes into soils can be degraded by microbes and therefore is released into the atmosphere as greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane. At the same time, what microbes don't chew up stays in soil and is preserved as organic material. And so that balance between what gets released to the atmosphere and what stays in soils is really important for predicting future climate. Soils are important for affecting greenhouse gas emissions, and so therefore they can also potentially be used to take up organic carbon from the atmosphere and store it, and thereby potentially reduce future climate warming. This is a really interesting and important area of research, and it's personal to people's lives and to people's future. At the same time, it's really exciting. I get to go to lots of cool places and do really exciting field work, and there's always something else more to learn in science. What keeps me up at night is that we've known for decades that climate warming and greenhouse gas emissions are a problem, but we haven't proceeded very far along with developing technological solutions or implementing those solutions in order to mitigate climate warming. Absolutely do it. The world needs you and our nation needs you. Scientists of the next generation are going to solve all of the problems that I can't finish up in my lifetime. And at the same time, science is so much fun. There's always more learning. So if you're 50 in a normal field, you might be getting bored and stale. In science, you're just getting into your groove and starting to be really effective and accomplish the things that you've wanted to accomplish since you were young.